<laughs> lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the time of the uh, party. And it was quite a bit heavy. Especially when I learned. Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. It's me. <laughs> um, Brew Dog, Farmhouse Cartel, reminds me of Mexican kingpins, you know. Um, it's interesting this, and the reason I brought this is because we've had um, Castle Lane on the Perfect Draft, which at 8.5% we found very nice, which is a Farmhouse Owl, as this is Farmhouse Cartel, and it's also Tequila Barrel Aged Beard de God, as they claim. I must say they claim because the de Gar is brewed originally in the north of France, as we told you all last so, week. So this can only be the style of, because this is actually brewed in Scotland. Yeah, it's um, brewed at Brewdog, by Brewdog. I mean, the only thing I can get you up on this is it's Belgian, it's fruity and it's spicy. That's what they're saying where we brought it. It's a three, uh, 330 mil can, it's a staggering 10% volume, <laughs> and it was... Ten pounds for four cans, nine pound ninety five. Mm. Which at ten percent, that's yeah, they're not. That's not bad, is it? If I'm honest, that's my opinion of it. Right, let's get a poured. Yeah, already it's got that kind of look. It's got that um, sort of rich amber colour. It's got that Belgium smell, you know. Already, I'm quite surprised. Right, I'll let you get the picture or show it to them or do yeah, the let's have a look. Let's have a look at the can first. There we go. And it does look Belgian. mildly hazy, but yeah, it's that um, rich amber colour. Now, these beers are originally brewed. This is talking about the beer de garde in farmhouses during the winter and spring to avoid unpredictable problems with the yeast during summertime. So, and this is also the interesting thing about this, which will more be for Michelle rather than me, it's tequila barrel age. So, obviously, that leads me to believe. It they, might have that slight kind of tequila taste to it, possibly. We'll have to see. It's not as bad as Desperados, can it? Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> say no more. So, as I say, are we looking for that kind of Belgian beauty? Let's see if it's got that smell. I'm not picking up anything really strong at the moment. Oh, yeah. I do smell that. Oh, so this, you see, although we've took it out of the fridge earlier, I would say you would want this seven, eight degrees. Yeah, it has got that smell, hasn't it? It's got, it's that, got that, that Belgian blonde. Yeah. That, that, that you need, the, this, this fruit in there. Oh, that's quite strong, sort of almost plummy kind of smell with, um, yeah, you can smell that alcohol. You know there's and something in there. Um, I'll tell you what it is. That's what I'm trying to think of. It has got that aged kind of smell like a no, that's what it says. On a fortified wine, so that is kind of the smell I'm picking up. Well, an older woman, you mean? You know, like, you know, kind of, no? <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, I'll let you dive in first, because it's more your forte. I don't know with this one. This is either going to be a bomb or a, ooh! Yeah, it is that similar kind of style. It has got that kind of aged taste to it. Almost sort of a port kind of fruity taste there. But I'm also picking up something a bit zingy. Ooh, like orange a... or, you know, maybe it has to do with the tequila barrel. Aged oakness, um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, please. Please don't. Yeah, don't do that. There we go, <laughs> knew that was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. um... That's different. That's totally different to that. Oh, I think it's got similar, um, it's a similar style, yeah, but, but it's, it's got a different taste. It's not smooth. Yeah. 
that was much smoother. I think, I don't know, you'd have to put them together to, to say that. I don't want to be pouring out a 10% and an 8.5% in the middle of the daytime, it's probably not. There is something slightly spicy to the end of this as well. Are you picking up on that? I'm picking up that I'm trying not to drink too much too quickly. But I'll tell you what, it's actually all right. It does have, you've, you've got your fruit there, you have got some spices, which is exactly what they said, but then you are getting hit on the end. It's mainly the end that you can kind of get an idea that it's 10%. Although, yeah. not really, but... You, you are I mean. getting that warming kind of feel to this that does lead you to think it's got a bit of punch there. It's got a bit of alcohol in it. Maybe um, the tequila thing. I mean, is it, on, is it the same as that? I don't know. Let's do a, a, I, I do feel it's, it's similar in style. It's definitely got all your you've got your fruits there. That's that's the bit that reminds me of kind of the taste of port. I don't think it goes to that bit. Yeah, it does. Port's <laughs> horrible. I don't For like me, port. no, it's not as there's a bit of that flavour in there. It isn't exactly the same as port, but it's got that kind of fruity flavours in there. I suppose you could say that, but well, for me, for me, I think I said. They've given it a good go, you know. They've done mm. it in Scotland, what they're doing in northern France. Um, it's hard. You come into this blind. There's nothing you can read. You can't... Yeah, but it's not a usual style for them, is it? It's something completely different. So I think, actually, they've kind of pulled it off. I think they've nailed it. I mean, the last top review I did, I had a number two, but there's nothing like that today. <laughs> number two. <laughs> number two. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm taking in. Have you got my one behind there? Um, you said you were going to keep it behind there for me, right? And it keep going missing. Well, I was, but <laughs> you didn't give it to me to keep it for you. Oh, I did. So how could I keep it? You didn't give it to me in the first place. <sighs> You'd lose your head if it weren't screwed on. What do you mean? Hold on a minute. I've got mine. You haven't got yours. The watch. What well, else was it? The go. tape measure. Here we go. Here we go. I can this is a, a whole YouTube number video. of things. That this is a YouTube video, today. please. So, yeah, okay. You've lost your thing, don't worry about it. It's not by me. You've so, lost it. No, I haven't lost it. Okay, lost it. Right. so I'm going to go on a yes on this and I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think they've kind of captured the style there and yeah, they've done quite a yep, good job. I was doing because I do have my paddle, I haven't lost it, unlike the wife who's getting on a bit in life. As Rob says, are you getting on a bit, you know, in the song? Mm. Love Supreme. Oh, Robbie Williams, Saturday. Just getting close. Anyway, yeah, I'm on a seven. I could pr perhaps go higher. I will do it against that one to see where we are and everything. Yeah, but I, I think see got, how it compares. I it? think it's got a worse hit at the end than that one, uh, than the Castle Lane, rather than keep pointing to the machine. And um, I don't think it's as good, but it's definitely all right. Right, what can I say, people? I say, Dixie's a wife. I'm sorry, I apologise profoundly for her. And... Feel free, like, subscribe and comment. Bonjour.